Hey, how's it going? Commander64 here, bringing you retro and elite dangerous related content in two separate playlists. I unbox, I play and I build, and here on the elite dangerous side of things, we're doing a lot of that right now. But first I'd just like to quickly thank you for watching, and if you'd be so kind as to click that subscribe button, I'd really appreciate it. And to all of you that already have, thanks a lot, I really appreciate that. Now that's all out of the way, let's get on with the video. Here you can see part of an ongoing project of mine to create an immersive, comfortable but small cockpit in order to play Elite Dangerous comfortably in my living room. Now these arms here are created quite a while ago and they do look rough I must admit but they will be sanded down, painted up, little extra things stuck on them. When everything else is complete we'll uh, polish everything up together. But as they are, they are quite comfortable then. They work well, they do the job, but that chair has got to go. In fact, I had to saw two legs off that chair to even get it in between the arms, which you can imagine makes it quite wobbly. Uh, it's not comfortable or safe, especially with the desktop computer in one of those arms. So it's got to go. And that is the immediate plan. On the previous part of Elite Dangerous, we marked up some pieces of MDF that we are going to use to build a chair. So I now need to saw those pieces up so that they're ready for assembly. So let's get going, shall we? All right, okay, I think this is probably the most complex of them all. These are the sides, the bit that the seat is gonna sit on. I mean, you know, the top part of the box, should I say, is, is gonna rest on these humps. The backrest is gonna slot in there. So we'll do that now. So it's going to be this way. You see it on there like that. Backrest in there. Seat in there. Okay, next piece I'm going to do is the. <coughs> this is the part that the uh, bottom cushion will sit on. So this is the part that I directly place my posterior on and it has these small cutout sections here that um, hook around <coughs> some of humps. Um, we talked about that on the planning video. So I'm just gonna cut those out now.
it. Okay. There's that bottom piece done. This is the back of it, and this is the front, if I can remember. So you can't go there, and your legs will go off that way. And the next bit I'm going to do is the backrest. That's very simple, uh, but, but fiddly at the same time with the small, small, such a small piece to cut out. I'm hoping this all will be, we don't have to do kind of intricate, really. So just two small bits to saw out of this one. where the lines were. I think that's all right. So that's everything. We now have all the pieces we need. For the box, we've got two sides, a front, a back, and a bottom. A removable top of the box, and the removable back rest. Next time, I'll join these up and see if everything fits correctly. Hopefully, it will. Thanks to all of you that have watched the video. I hope you continue to join me throughout this project as it develops here on the channel. Have a great day, take care of yourselves, and until next time, this is Commander64, signing off.